Good morning, students. Welcome to the second video of trigon proving trigonometric identities. Uh, in my last video, I was uh, solving some of the questions from new additional mathematics, exercise 11.1. In last video, I have proved uh, from question number 1 to question number 12. And today, I'm going to start from question number 13. And if you remember that we were using this, uh, all this um, trigonometric identities, Okay, um, you can have a look at it or you can uh, go for the uh, previous videos to see how I use that. Uh, well, if you stick around, I can I can show you this. Okay, I'm going to use that anyways. Question number 13, it says, question number 13 says, sine to the power 4x minus cos to the power 4x is identical to sine square x minus cos square x. Again, we're going to start left-hand side, from the left-hand side, and that's sine to the power 4x minus cos to the power 4x. This is relatively easy, even though it looks scary at the beginning. Sine square x square and cos square x square. If I put it this way, then I can put this one in the form of a square minus b square, where I can replace that by a plus b, a minus b, and that's what I'm going to do. That's going to be sine square x plus cos square x and then sine square x minus cos square x. Now this part over here is my trigonometric identity sine square theta plus cos square theta equal to 1. If I replace that by 1, I end up with sine square x minus cos square x and that's equal to my right hand side. Okay, so that's proved. That was pretty easy, isn't it? Now let's do question number 14. Now question number 14 says, let me write down 14. Now 14 says that uh, sine to the power 4x, now sine to the power 4x minus sine square x is identical to cos to the power 4x minus cos square x. Now let's start with the left hand side and then uh, it's a sine to the power 4x minus cos to the power 2x. Uh, sorry, sine to the sine square x, sine square x. Now, if I take sine square common from here, sine square x, then I end up here sine square x minus 1 right over here. Okay. And then I have a problem. Okay. Both sides, uh, on the right-hand side, both terms are in cosine, and I got sine. So no problem. Sine square theta can be replaced by 1 minus cos square theta. So it can be written as 1 minus cos square x, and that sine square x minus 1, that can be written as, um, okay, sine square x minus 1, sine square x minus 1. If minus uh, 1 comes over here, then cos square is going to go there. So it's minus cos square x. Take the bracket off. It's going to be minus, if I multiply this with this, minus cos square x minus minus plus cos to the power 4x. Uh, comparing that and then rewriting cos to the power 4x minus cos square x. And that's my right hand side. So that's the right hand side. And it's proved okay so 13 and 14 done let's do question number 15 now what 15 says 15 says uh, 1 minus cos x so let me write down 1 minus cos x into 1 plus 1 by cos x 1 plus 1 by cos x is identical to sin x into tan x okay Again, we're going to go for left-hand side, and that's going to be 1 minus cos x, 1 plus 1 by cos x. All right. Now, uh, simplest thing I can do, I keep multiplying that. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 plus that is 1 by cos x. And this times this is minus cos x. And that times that is minus. See that cos x, cos x cancel out. It's 1. So this and this cancel out. So I have here 1 over cos x minus cos x. 
Now, there is a denominator 1, so I can do the regular uh, addition subtraction of a uh, fraction. So that's um, LCM is cos x, and that's going to be 1 minus this, this becomes cos squared x. Now, 1 minus cos of square x, 1 minus cos of squares can be replaced by sine square x. So that's going to be sine square x by cos x. I look at this and I compare and then this can be written as, look at this, I can write down sine x into sine x divided by cos x. Now, when it's like that, I can write down sine x times sine x by cos x by comparing that. So sine x remains sine x and sine x by cos x with my trigonometric identities sine x by cos x can be replaced by tan x so into tan x and that's my right hand side. Okay we can write down that's right hand side and that's proved. Okay so number 15 is done. We are coming down to question number 16. Now, question number 16 says, I'm going to change the color of my pen. Uh, 16 says, sine squared x plus tan squared x. Let me write down 16. It says that sine squared x plus tan squared x into sine squared x plus tan squared x into sine squared x into sine squared x is identical to tan squared x. So that's tan squared x. Again, we're going to start from the right hand side. We're going to write down, sorry, left hand side, left hand side. And we write down sine squared x plus tan squared x into, into sine squared x. I can see that I can take sine squared x common. So if I take sine squared x common, I end up over here having 1 and over here tan squared x. I have an identity like that. Tan squared theta plus 1 equal to sec squared theta. So this can be replaced by sec squared theta. So sine squared x into sec squared x. Now sec squared is nothing but 1 by cos. Okay, uh, since the square is going to be 1 by cos squared. So sine squared x into 1 by cos squared x. And then I can write down sine squared x by cos of square x equal to sine x cos x sine x cos x tan x so square of it gonna give me tan square x equal to right hand side proved okay so 16 is done now let's do number 17 question number 17 is saying tan square x minus cot square x tan square x minus cot square x is identical to sec square x minus cosec square x tan square x minus cot square x is identical to sec square x minus cosec square x so left hand side left hand side equal to tan square x minus cot square x now i have sec and cosec so tan if i replace that by sec square x minus 1 so that's what i'm going to do tan can be replaced by sec squared x minus 1 minus now cot squared x can be replaced by cosec squared x minus 1 so cosec squared x minus 1 if i take the bracket off then it's going to be sec squared x minus 1 plus minus minus cosec squared x minus minus plus 1 and this minus 1 plus 1 cross out i end up with sec squared x minus cosec squared x equal to right hand side and that's proved okay so 17 is done i'm gonna do one more on this video and that's question number uh 18 yeah 18 so 18 what 18 is saying 18 is saying on the numerator i have 1 minus tan squared x so 1 minus tan squared x divided by 1 plus tan squared x is identical to cos squared x minus sine squared x. Check that. 18 is saying 1 minus tan squared x over 1 plus tan squared x identical to cos squared x minus sine squared x. So I'm going to start from the 
left hand side again left hand side and then it's 1 minus 10 square x 1 plus 10 square x and I'm gonna replace 10 square x by cos square uh, cos uh, sine square x by cos square x minus si sine square x by cos square x same thing over here 1 plus sine square x by cos square x now if I do the LCM that's going to be cos square x and on the top is going to be cos square x minus sine square x and below here cos square x then cos square x plus sine square x now from here uh, I cannot do anything about it cos square x minus sine square x divided by cos square x now if I do the multiplication this cos square comes in the numerator cos square x and this is gonna be sine square x plus cos square x now this this cross out and this things equals to 1 so I end up with cos square x minus sine square x which is equal to right hand side right hand side and then this is proved okay so in my next video I'll finish the other maths from 19 to 25 okay see you take care bye